e-reading shala. I run e-reading shala and I host a campaign under it. This campaign motivates children to read, to start reading books as books are your best friend and they transport you to amazing worlds. This, this campaign has reached both big towns and small towns all over India and even beyond. This campaign is known as Read Children Read. I started this with the aim of motivating children from all over India to start reading books. Because I have seen that many don't read books and don't know the amazing capabilities that book can do. So I started this campaign and, and, every, and, na- and every now and then I host a session in which children come and listen to stories. I myself tell the children many stories and they also tell me and the other children stories. They read books and we read books together and we have so much fun. This is, this is amazing and I really like that so many children come together to enjoy reading and storytelling. So now let's see what book we are going to read today. How much I love you. Okay, it's a really nice book, and it is written by Sam McBratney and illustrated by Anita Jaram. Okay, so let's start. Look here. What what's happening here? Can you tell me? The bunny is just hopping. Yes, very good. Okay. Okay, so little nut brown hair who was going to bed held on tight to big nut brown hairs, very long ears. Look, this is his bed and he is going to sleep. This is the ba- this is the little nut brown hair and this is big nut brown hair. Okay, here is another word for rabbit. He wanted to be sure. That big nut brown hair was listening. Guess how much I love you, he said. Oh, I don't think I could guess that. All of you, please, all of you, please mute. And then when I ask you to, when I ask you a question, then you can, uh, then you can unmute. Okay. Okay. He wanted to be sure that big nut brown hair was listening. Guess how much I love you, he said. Oh, I don't think I could guess that, said big nut brown hair. Wow, okay. So look, he is holding his ears and telling him, guess how much I love you. That's really nice. This much, said little nut brown hair, stretching out his arms as wide as they could. Big nut brown hair and even longer arms. But I love you this much, he said. Look, he is stretching his arms so wide. Hmm, that is a lot, thought little nut brown hair. <clears throat> now look, he's standing up. He's showing how much he loves him. So, so I want to ask you, what, uh, yeah, what is this? Tell me, what is the name of this thing? Stump of a tree. Very good. It's a stump. It's a stump. Very good. I love you as high as I can reach, said little nut brown hair. Look, so now he's trying to reach as far as he can. And then he's telling, I love you this much. I love you as high as I can reach, said little, said big nut brown hair. That is very high, thought little nut brown hair. I wish I had arms like that. So what is, what does he do? Please remove that. Whoever did that, please do not do it. 
Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Okay, so what is he doing? Tell me, all of you tell me what is uh, Big Nut Brown here doing? Hmm? Big Nut Brown here is raising his arms as high as he can. Very good. Okay, you are very smart, Pranav. Thank you. Okay, so now I would like to ask Aniket. Aniket? Can you tell yes. me what this is, this thing? It who did a, that? It's an insect. Very good. Okay, who did that? I erased it. Okay, it's an insect. It's a mosquito. Wow. Okay. So let's go to the next one. Okay, then little nut brown hair had a good idea. He tumbled upside down and reached up the tree trunk with his feet. Look, he is upside down. He is upside down. He is upside down and then he put his feet on the tree trunk. And he says, I love you all the way up to my toes. And then big nut brown hair said, And I love you all the way to up to your toes, said Big Nut Brown here, swinging him up over his head. So look, he is having fun. He's swinging him up and he's saying, I love you all the way from his toes. So what is that distance? I'll show you. That distance is from here, this red line, all the way to here. That's a pretty big distance, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so now I want to ask you, see, what is this? Hmm? What is this? This eye, it's, it's slanted, right? It, it's slanted. Yeah, a bit slanted eye. So that means you would, you would say this, like, and uh, I and I. Uh, okay. You have to say it a little different, okay? You have to say it a little louder and put a little more force on it. And I love you all the way up to your toes, okay? Okay? Understood? Okay, very good. Yes. Please stop drawing. Okay. One second. Uh, let's go on to the next uh, thing. Yeah, okay. I love you as high as I can hop. Laughed little nut brown hair, bouncing up and down. So look, he's bouncing everywhere. Look, he's bouncing here, bouncing here, bouncing here, 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 here. He's bouncing so much, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, he's like bouncing so much up and down, up and down. Wow. When I was almost three years old, that's what I would do. Yeah, but I love you as high as I can hop. Smile, little nut brown hair. And he hops so high that his ears touch the branch, branches above. Look. He is jumping so high that his ears like touch the branch. That's so high. Wow. Even I can't jump that high. Well, yeah. That's good hopping. Thought little nut brown hair. I wish I could hop like that. I love you all the way down the lane as far as the river cried. Uh, little nut brown hair. All of you, can you see my mouse? Yes. You yes. can see it? Yes. Okay. So tell me what this is. This white thing. It's different. It's a river. It's a river. 
It's the river. I love you across the river and over the hills, said Big Nut Brown here. I love you across the river and over the hills, said Big Nut Brown here. So what does that mean? Do you know what that means? She loves him all the way across the river and over the mountains. Yeah, so this is how much he loves him from here and then as over the our, mountains. As far our, as our eyes can see. Yeah, from, look, from here. Uh, one second, yeah. From here, that's a really long distance. So much he's walking and then over the hills. So that's so much, right? He loves him so much. Yes. Yes. Wow. That's very far, thought Little Nut Brown here. He was almost too sleepy to think anymore. Then he looked beyond the thorn bushes out into the big dark night. Nothing could be farther than the sky, right? So look yes. here. Uh, look, he is sleeping. He is sleeping. I mean, not sleeping, but he's so sleepy, right? He's rubbing his eyes. Yeah, he's so sleepy that he, he doesn't want to be sleepy, so he's rubbing his eyes. Yeah, and uh, I would like to ask, uh, um, all of you, can you switch on your videos? I can see you all. Yeah, I would like to ask, uh, what is you? What is you? Yeah. Yes. Tell me, what are they looking at? What is this? This hmm? is the... Uh, this is a moon. Very good. That was the moon. Okay. Very good. Now I would like to ask... Uh, Gaurav. Gaurav? Hmm? Can you unmute? Yeah. Okay. So tell me, what is what is big uh, big nut brown hair doing? What is he doing to a uh, little nut brown hair? Hmm? He's sleeping his baby. Sleeping his baby. Sleeping in a baby. Sleeping his baby. Very good. She is sitting on her. It, she, uh, she is holding her. He, sorry. She is holding him in, his, in her lap. Right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. I, I love you right up to the moon, he said and closed his eyes. Oh, that's far, said Big Nut Brown here. Who was that? Uh, okay. I love you right up to the moon, he said and closed his eyes. Oh, that's far, said Big Nut Brown here. That is very, very far. Big nut brown hair settled little nut brown hair into his bed of leaves. He leaned over and kissed him good night. Wow, that was so wow, right? That was so nice. So tell me. Yes. Yes. So tell me, uh, where is he sleeping? Where is uh, little nut brown hair sleeping? Over in a cot full of bushes and leaves. Okay, very good. So, all of you switch on your video. Yeah, Kushbu. Kushbu? Is that your name? Hey, sorry, dear. I miss editing my kid's name. Uh, my kid's name is Ayansh. Just okay. give me a moment. Ayansh? Ayansh, tell me. Ayansh, tell me. Uh, what is she doing? What is Big Nut Brown here doing? Uh, doing uh, to Little Nut Brown here? Here. Here. What is she doing? 
eating. Uh. He is he is eating. Not eating. He is not eating. He is putting him into his bed. Okay. He is taking him, putting him into his bed. And then what is he doing to him here? He is. Hmm. He is kissing him. Okay. Very good. She is kissing him good night. Yes. Okay. So how how did you all like the story? Did you all like it? Yes. It was awesome. Okay. So it was awesome. This is the last page. Then he lay down close by. It was good. Then he lay down and close by, and whispered with a smile, "I love you right up to the moon and back." So in the last, he says, she says, "I love you right up to the moon and back." And here she, he said to the moon, and she says, "Double that, right?" Wow. Okay. So. Bigfoot Brown is so intelligent. Yes, he's he's very intelligent. Okay, so you can start screen sharing. Okay. Okay. So everybody, let's get ready for Aditi's amazing story. Hello. Hi. Okay, you're back. Hi. Mm, yeah, Aditi. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, as I told you, the name of the story is the horse and the donkey. Very good. So, once there was a man who had a horse and a donkey. he used to burden the donkey with a very heavy load while the horse had very little load to carry so i all of you can see two animals right yes so so one animal has all the loads and the other animal has nothing to carry so burden means putting everything on may uh, treating not treating a person equally so can anybody tell me where are the mountains i can tell okay okay nadar who is tell. this nadar you can tell i have to circle no you can you can just tell uh, behind a brown color horse yes so one day the horse sorry one day the donkey fell ill please mr horse help me to carry the load today i am feeling well Very un. Sorry, Mr. Donkey. For some reason, the master always loads you with the heavy burden, so you must carry it yourself. So one day, the donkey became sick, and the donkey said, "Dear horsey, I cannot put all the load on my back today. Please carry some for me." But the selfish donkey said, "No, I will not carry the." I will not carry your load. The master has given it to you, so you carry it yourself. This is what the horse said to the donkey. Aditi, can you switch on your video? I can't see you. Actually, I'm using an iPad, so when I share my screen, my video goes off. Oh, uh, okay. Is there any other way you can switch? You can switch on your video. Let's try it. It says it's on. Yeah, it's on. Now can you start sharing? Uh, Now it's off. Okay, it's, yeah. it's fine. It's fine. Carry on. Okay. The poor sick, the poor sick donkey struggled with the heavy load for a few more miles and then suddenly collapsed and died. The master picked up all the load from the donkey. So what happened? As I said, the donkey was very sick, and the donkey already told the horse that I'm sick. Can you please carry my load? But the selfish donkey said no. 
so after a while the donkey fell very ill and died so the master picked up all the load so can anybody spot the houses in the picture is it behind the horse the horses are behind the yeah next after after the master picked up the load from the donkey the master put it on the horse's back and then he picked up the dead donkey and and placed it also on the horse's back oh no cried the horse this weight is killing me it serves me right for being selfish moral if one is selfish he shall be punished for it so what happened is the donkey fell ill and died the master picked up the dead donkey and the load and put it all on the horse the horse said oh no this donkey and the weight is killing me i i did so bad and it serves me right so the selfish donkey is trying sorry the selfish horse is trying to tell us that he shouldn't have been so rude to the donkey he should have taken some of the load and shared it equally but then he did not do that so the donkey died so the horse had double things to carry so if one is selfish he shall pay for it can anybody tell me where where there's a little flower in this picture can anybody spot it yes it's near the horse the horse is nose and that's the horse no. oh yeah actually there are three flowers sorry can anybody spot all three in front of the horse yeah so there are two flowers in front of the horse what happened to the third one and one near and one near the master near the master's shoulder yes so this was my